this is a dry cycle of the touch print essentials model. Uh, basically it's it, it is comprised of the same functionalities our high-end systems. Uh, what you saw there was the uh, bottom side stencil wiper uh, going through a sequence operation. A couple things to note. Um, Milara has used uh, and developed ultrasonic technology in bottom side wiping uh, about five or six years ago. Uh, we patented that technology, however, uh, what we decided to do is come out with the uh, same type of bottom side sensor wiper that the industry is used to. So what we have here is a, a vacuum wet bar paper roll system. Uh, the advances and, and the uh, enhanced features that Millar has incorporated into this wiper uh, include the following. For the wet bar, uh, Millar has incorporated porous tube technology. Uh, everybody uses a wet bar that is, uh, is comprised of a series of holes linearly placed on the wet bar to excrete the solution. What Millar has done is we've actually used a porous tube material and what this does uh, for our technology is, is post the wet function of the bar, the bar actually performs a reverse capillary reaction to the water and basically pulls it back into itself. Thereby, it allows the wiper to uh, yield a nice, sharp, wet edge, thereby saving paper in the long run. Uh, we've also incorporated uh, our own vacuum plenum technology uh, basically is composed of 21 what we call turbo injected vacuum venturi valves. Uh, everybody uses a main vacuum pump uh, up to the wiper followed by uh, and, and fed to by a large vacuum tube. Well, the problem with that type of system is, is the reaction time. When the vacuum plenum sees a large aperture in a stencil, of course it's going to suffer from a vacuum loss. Thereby, the rest of the plenum bar is going to see the same vacuum loss. What we do is we've incorporated high-speed, highly reactive vacuum injectors up into the plenum bar uh, such that we see a reaction time no, no greater than 30 milliseconds. So, Milara hasn't really invented uh, the process. Uh, what we've done is we've actually made it much better. And lastly, uh, on the bottom side wiper, uh, paper feed speed control. What Millar has done is we've, we've taken the final steps in controlling the linear feed rate of the paper by incorporating an encoded feedback system on the actual mini web process of the wiper, thereby closing the uh, velocity and surface feed rate of the paper. Millar also offers a solder paste dispensing system, uh, same as our competition. However, uh, we've taken the next step approach, and that is we actually dispense the paste in between the front and the rear solder blades. This way, as the paste, as the machine is printing, the paste is actually rolling into the solder bead, thereby uh, producing a need, a paste need function while you're printing. What does that do in the end? It eliminates more cycle time uh, that's required for that operation. So once again, we've taken uh, uh, another step forward in printer technology. Uh, we also offer a dual canister, whereas many, many, many printers out in the industry only offer a single. So we'll give you the double capacity, uh, fully sensed uh, with, of course, feedback sensors. Uh, this particular model, the essentials, uh, be it cost effective, we offer uh, pressure loop control on the squeegee print. Uh, which is controlled uh, by a proportion air valve, computerized, of course, uh, located directly at the charging device, which applies the pressure to the print. Uh, this uh, eliminates, this design eliminates any latencies uh, in the control of the function and, and generates a very highly responsive uh, closed loop on the squeegee pressure itself. Uh, this device here is our, our patented vibration squeegee technology. Uh, as indicated, uh, 
uh, Malara has uh, conducted years of testing uh, in the development of this technology and we have successively printed the uh, 0.3 millimeter uh, CSP and uh, 01005 technologies uh, yielding very, very close to 100% viability. And this is in every aspect uh, from uh, positioning uh, to volume displacement on the circuit pads themselves. Uh, as you see here um, on the paste dispenser, uh, this is our uh, linear servo uh, gantry technology that we've incorporated with, of course, real-world tape feedback elements. So every single axis on this machine, uh, with the exception, of course, the conveyor system, has real-world feedback uh, devices that tell our digital controller exactly where each and every axis is. On the alignment axis, Malara incorporates dual position feedback. Uh, we have one closed loop on the motor, and we have the real-world feedback on the axis itself. Uh, we boast on uh, X, Y, and Theta, um, CP, CPKs of uh, greater than three, uh, whereas the competition only boasts somewhere in the order of two. Uh, how can we do this? How can we do all this and offer our clients uh, speed and accuracy? Well, it's very simple. And one thing that must be mentioned, and that is this machine is one of the heaviest uh, printers, if not the heaviest printer, um, on the world market today. Uh, she comes in at uh, just a little bit over 3,400 pounds. And you, you may ask why we need that, that weight. Well, it simply comes to issues of stability and accuracy. How can we maintain high speed and accuracy? Well, you start with a rigid base platform, and that's exactly what we've done. The old technology is pistons. They're all, these, these, these are uh, air-charged pistons. Okay, just for uh, hood control. Okay, the problem with that, of course, is over time, um, the air can leak out and uh, create a hazardous condition uh, with the hood. And, of course, we don't want the machine hoods to be falling on operators. What we've done over here on the Essentials model is we've incorporated a torsion bar counterbalance system. This is brand new technology. Um, there are no springs, uh, air springs whatsoever, uh, just a, a very simple torsion bar setup uh, which allows a very safe operation of the hood and of, as you can see in various positions. Again, it's something simple but um, it's innovative to us and of course safety is uh, very important to Millar. Uh, in conjunction with this, uh, we also incorporate a, a class 4 a CE a device which is actually used to extinguish all the power on the servo motors uh, when the operator or service technician uh, has to enter the machine. Something worth mentioning and uh, very simple and that is uh, even the internal lighting and the lighting for the digital camera inspection system. Uh, Millar incorporates OLED or organic LED technology. Uh, this illumination technology is that of, of course, of tomorrow, and it almost boasts 100% more lifetime than a standard LED. So in essence, uh, the lighting in, in the machine and in the optics and for the optics is going to last in excess of 10 years. Um, Millar is, is highly focused in building quality high-speed, highly accurate product. And this is reflected all the way down, even into the simplicities of some of the machine features.